from these two presentations, which we have heard so far from the livestock and from high iron bin, there are some common elements, some issues that are coming out. The issue of marketing is becoming a challenge. We need to do market visibility and we need to analyze our market before we go for production. And also, again, uh, going beyond the research, would like to hear also the experience from the institutions who really participated so that they can share their experience, what are the challenges. So the issue of engaging women and youth is very critical. So we'd like to engage more women and youth so that we can create a job opportunity. And especially when we're targeting youth, we are also targeting the family. We are trying to also address the issue of nutrition and so on. These are very important elements that we have uh, forwarded as a way forward. This is a yes, comment okay, that I thought, Yeah, I thought we can, we, we should highlight, which is, uh, was raised by Samson Okolo, and this is uh, in relation to the demand of the seeds and distribution of the seeds. Um, he says there's an opportunity to engage the youth and women, especially since there is the demand and youth are available, uh, they can make the access to seeds um, to the primary farmers. This is a conversation that can be picked up and, and maybe uh, engage the high iron bin on how best to involve the youth and the women in that particular node of the value chain. Thank you. The discussions are useful. We have seen the, the common questions uh, that come up when we talk about new varieties and so on. The, the, the straight away the question comes up as, where can I get access to these? Is it available in my country? Is it available in my region? As we are developing the um, outreach materials in conjunction with the uh, commodity compacts, we will also then uh, include these elements that these are the common questions that you will be faced with. So when you're running an outreach program in your region, or within your innovation platform, the information is already packaged and adapted to the people in your region. So just like um, Justin shared a table with the varieties available in different countries, obviously, if you're having a session, an outreach session within that particular country, you would provide more information about those specific varieties that are adapted. Um, in general, I would say uh, lots of interesting questions. We would really encourage you to join the group and we have the sessions. We can even have two parallel discussions uh, on the D groups, one on livestock, one on high iron beans, and we'll just have the conversations going on in there. As, as, as we explained uh, at the beginning, this is going to be a webinar series, a technical webinar series, which we have started today, which we have done the, the livestock sector and also the the high iron beam. So the next webinar is going to be on September 2nd. Same time, we'll be communicating, I mean, the, the, the advert and communications to the D group. I would like to thank all the, the participants who really contributed through the chat box and sharing your experience, raising some questions. Then eventually from each compact and the commodities will be uh, planning to produce um, a communication material which provides how you can uh, get the, the seeds or the technology and also how you can really engage in terms of contact and so on in different countries, the business model that we can apply and so on. So with that say, let me uh, say that officially this webinar is closed, but the discussion uh, remain active in the D group. Thank you very much from my side.